2022 completes my decade plus five years working in the ICT and software engineering industry. A lot has happened in those 15 years. I have lived in five different countries, two continents, worked for five plus multinational companies deployed and supported software in more than 80 countries worked with 70 plus nationalities across the world. Not to mention, I don't have a CS degree, I do not do well in maths, physics, and I don't know the door of high school. I got rejected with over 70 plus companies and managed to land multiple job offers, 20 plus in all. So if you're interested to hear more about my career journey, soft skills and hard skills that I've learned throughout this career journey, just stay tuned. I don't remember how many times I have asked myself whether the struggle is worth it, you know, constantly reading and learning, trying to keep up with the rapid pace of this tech industry. After a few years, I can say that ICT turned into a passion of mine, but it definitely was not, you know, one at the start. I would lie if I said that the pay was not the factor you know it all started in 2007 coming from a small city in Gweru, zimbabwe you know to arari to kickstart my training you know in telco with t1 center for learning in collaboration you know with t1 zimbabwe only a largest fixed network as a trainee associate technician more like of apprenticeship you know for access network um, and transmission you know, we're fixing the network, um, access network, infrastructure, building and maintaining the optic fiber, the copper cable transmission network, you know, as well doing O and M of the traditional type 7 telephone, you know, alongside, I was also studying the certain girls, you know, then late in 2008, I joined Teleso Zimbabwe, the second largest mobile service provider in Zimbabwe. I joined as a knock engineer and rose up through, you know, the organization ranks, you know, to the position of the specialist uh, in VAS and intelligent network. In 2016, um, in mid, after a series of interviews, I moved, you know, to Cameroon in Central Africa to join Orange, one of the multinational mobile operators in the world of ICT, as an SRE consultant engineer for intelligent network and online charging system it was handling you know more than 9 million subs you know over 2g 3g and 4g and then in 2017 another opportunity rose up which made me to move you now to ivory coast abidjan in western africa to join huawei technologies um, a multinational ict company as an SRA consultant for VAS and intelligent network platforms. My mission in my hiring was like to build and to operate and to transfer the first <laughs> and the first, you know, global network operation center in Africa for Orange France Group, you know, subsidiaries covering nine countries with total of around 65 million subscribers using 2G, 3G, 4G and LT. So after the project mission was done, uh, and successful, uh, I think in late 2018, another opportunity rose up, you know, after cracking series of interviews, which made me, you know, <laughs> to took another leap of faith, you know, to move from the continent of Africa to the continent of Europe in Germany to join our uh, European computer telecoms in their uh, research and development center based in Munich, you know, uh, as a cloud um, deployment devops engineer for the voice over lt and ms networks then um, during covid 19 in 2020 after successful cracking series of interviews another opportunity came up which uh, made me to do another extra 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 you know leap of faith to move now to the northwest of europe uh, Dublin island uh, the so-called silicon valley or the tech hub of europe to join open it and Amdox company at their research and development center as a lead software SRE engineer covering Europe, Middle East, Africa, and the United Kingdom, you know, to build the 5G technology. Now let's move on to the soft skills I've learned uh, throughout my career. So keep up with the change. Tech is constantly changing and you have to keep up with it, you know. And uh, the other thing is changing jobs, switching jobs. As I've indicated, I've worked for more than five companies in different countries while switching 
there are two things that I was looking in the job, learning and earning. So having both is great, you know, one is enough, but you know, neither isn't, you no. Know, and you want to be, you know, at a place that pays well and give you the room, the room to grow and to grow, you know, and not opportunities exist, you know, at all times, you know. So the trade-off that you're making depends on your position uh, in life and what, you know, important to that point, you know. As a beginner, I would recommend, you know, aiming for the jobs where you can learn the most and they will allow you to find more profitable positions uh, in the future. Then another thing, always keep a side project that you enjoy working on because if you work at the job uh, that is unfulfilling, you know, you will not completely lose uh, love for technology. Remember very well when I was, uh, uh, I remember very well when I was uh, in working for Huawei in Ivory Coast, I was working on a side project of cloud computing and DevOps and when I was uh, in ECT in Germany I was working more uh, on the SRE side project you know when I was in Amdox uh, in Ireland I was working more uh, in the cloud native project so and then another thing how to ask for help other engineers are one of the greatest resources for you as an engineer even when you are very well experienced it is so important uh, for your growth to be honest and open with people if you don't know something you know no one knows everything so any engineer you know uh, should be happy to explain something to you you know if you admit you don't know it you know so if they make you feel embarrassed for asking questions then it's now up, up to them but you have done your part you have surrendered you know and then they are uh, other soft skill that I have for you is be a team player. No matter how much smarter uh, you may think you are than other, you know, SRA or cloud engineer, participate in code reviews, help to keep the code quality strong instead of complaining how other, you know, SRA or cloud engineers, you know, code to standard, you know. Another thing, Googling is one of the main ways you can obtain new uh, skills or new technology. I've used it, you know, uh, throughout my career. So now let's move on to the hard skills I've learned. Solve problem, then write the script or the code. There is a difference, you know, between solving a problem and writing script to implement the solution for that problem, you know, to reduce the toil uh, in uh, s -ray. It is easy to combine these two challenges and then can lead you to being an inefficient you know what i normally do like writing an executable script to implement your solution is a separate exercise and um a different challenge you know and actually figuring out the solution in the first place so i suppose um it's the difference between like planning and writing a recipe and then like physically chopping and cooking food you know to create a meal from that recipe so what i do is like the first thing i i, I solve the logical problem by working it out on a paper and stick notes you know to really make sure uh, i understand my solution works for example i often use the stick notes to represent the if statements and then later branches you know in logic which i can then physically move about you know then the second thing i write a clear comments in my script which give an overview of what the script is going to be this is uh, the skeleton of my program then the last thing that i'll do now i'm ready to type my script by this point i probably like understand my solution uh, to the problem and it has been like through several interactions and you know making sure that it works then the last thing that i keep backups of everything <laughs> now the conclusion last but not least do not be afraid to feel like you are new be working in a technology stack you have not had much experience in it will happen constantly and even at more rapid rate than how new stack you know frameworks seem to come out every couple of weeks you know so don't forget to like to subscribe and to ring the notification bell see you